Hi, this is Anna from Dream Inspired Design, and this is just a quick introduction and tutorial to um, a site that I think is really awesome. It's called canva.com, and it's an amazing resource for those of you that don't have Photoshop or just aren't comfortable using it or, you know, <laughs> overwhelmed by it. Um, Canva provides a great graphic design resource. Um, for you to do it yourself or someone on your team to do it. It's wonderful for collaboration They've got a ton of templates that you can already work off of um, You can upload your own brand assets and customize the colors on it and the fonts and everything so that it is um, You know in line with your branding for the most part um, and I just think it's awesome um, I've created as you can see kind of here some brochures and social media graphics um, for clients um, because I just find that the the ability to transfer over a template for something is so powerful um, and it gives them the opportunity to really just go in there and make changes and, and utilize um, the all the functions um, and create something that's beautiful and at the same time is really useful to their business. So as you can see up here, these are some of the popular designs um, that Canva you know, offers you. So we have social media templates, um, like uh, PowerPoint uh, slides kind of presentations, posters, Facebook posts, graphics even, um, and then other things. So if you click here on more, you can see all of the options that are available. Um, so again, those are the popular design types. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, down here, you've got all these other um, wonderful formats. I've also used it to build a cover letter and resume that's beautiful um, and that worked out great. So just scrolling through here to show you the, the, all the different formats that are available and within each one of these, um, so say Etsy cover photo. Within each one of these, you'll find lots of different templates available or layouts. So here um, on the sidebar, we have search, layouts, elements, text, background, uploads. So you can basically select the layout that you want. Um, here the text is editable. So you can, um, like I said, you know, they, they do have quite a bit of fonts. It might not be the exact font that you use for your branding, but maybe, you know, if you're looking to create your branding, this is something that you look at, um, is which fonts are available here and kind of work with, work with what you've got here. Cause they do have some really wonderful fonts and all of these are free and, um, you can use them for commercial purposes, which isn't the case with all fonts. So it's important to look at that. So as you can see here, tons of different options. So you can just put, and then when you select the text, you can see here it's got all caps. You can change the spacing of the words. You can change the line height, you know, if you had multiple ones. Um, you can change where the text is. Um, and then the size, obviously, and here you can change the color. So like I said, if you have custom colors, you can just click the plus sign and put in your hex color code right there. Um, and then, um, so these elements right here, these are just little um, graphics that they added. So you can, you can move those around, you can resize them. You know, whatever you need to do, you can change the transparency on them. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then, so the, the format's all set up for you. So when you download this, you can easily upload it. That's another major plus. I've found that people are a little confused sometimes when it comes to like dimensions and how many pixels things need to be in order to not be stretched out or also in order for the size to not be huge. Um, and really hard to upload. So that's the other beauty of this is that it creates everything um, in the sizing that you need it to be for what you need it to be. So these are some of the images that I've uploaded and that's what I really love is that you can purchase um, 
different things. So even if you go up to elements, you can, you can see photos up there and then you can also purchase photos and even all of these different things, the grids, the frames, all, all these different design components, there's free ones and there's paid ones. Um, but really it helps you create layouts that are unique um, and that are perfectly set up for you so you don't need to mess anything up. Um, so that one's pretty cool. So let's see. So I'm just gonna put that there and just see what that does. So anytime you see that kind of graphic of the, the landscape kind of view, um, what that does is that um, you can drag an image in that and see it'll it'll cut it up like that. So, um, like I said, lots of cool design resources. And these are just images that I've uploaded for things, that, um, for brands that we've worked with. So for example, you know, I like creating backgrounds and then you can incorporate those right there. You can, um, you know, change the transparency, for example. So say that I'm gonna make that more transparent and then I'm gonna arrange this, send it to the back. So I can send that behind there. And then I'm gonna add this image. And I'm just gonna make it really big. Move it over. And then I'm gonna send that back. Oops. Arrange, back, back, back. So there you go. So now I've got that background laid on top. And this, you know, again, you can make white and then you can make it slightly transparent so that it's got a nice feeling to it. You can move it around. So there's that. And delete these guys. You know, and again, if you've got these elements for your brand, then feel free to upload them and play around with them and make something that's really beautiful, really easy to use. So a couple more things. Once you've got something that you like, you can easily duplicate it <clears throat> and make a slight adjustment to it here or, you know, use this as a way to um, have different versions of something all in one place. You can easily delete that. You can move this one up, you can move this one down, whatever it might be. I think that function is pretty cool. Um, really <laughs> takes the headache out of it. You can um, you know, save your designs, you can resize things if you need to, but you can save it or make a copy also to have a template copy and then a working copy. Um, when you go to download, you can choose here what format you want. So when I was making the brochures for clients, PDF print is great because that way it's print quality and also, you know, you have it, um, you can also look at it on the web, but it's the print quality that you need um, when you need 300 DPI. Um, PDF standard is, you know, it's more for web quality. So if you're making an ebook, you would, you could use that. Um, if the intention is not for it to have <clears throat> graphics that would be printed out, then um, PNG is what they recommend, but you can also download in JPEG if that's what you prefer. Um, and here also you have the option, if you have these multiple pages or multiple um, designs, you can just download one or download multiple ones. Um, so that's super easy. And finally, um, the way Canva works is just through your Facebook, or you can log in with your Facebook account or with your Google account, so you don't need to be creating a whole nother account in order to use this, and it's really awesome for entrepreneurs and um, of, of all sorts. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's like a limitless resource at the moment, so I highly recommend you check it out, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.